Hello, today we're going to show you how to calculate network masks, figure out CIDR notation, and subnet your network without doing any complicated math using the SpiceWorks subnet calculator. That means no more tedious decimal to binary conversions and back again because the SpiceWorks subnet calculator, which you can access by clicking the link below in the description, does the hard math for you and it helps you visualize subnetworks and how they work better. First, let's go to the web-based subnet calculator at community.spiceworks.com tools. There, you can enter a start and end IP address to specify a range or use CIDR notation for shorthand, which we'll do here. The tool automatically calculates the last IP address for you. Then, you specify how many subnets you want. In this case, we'll just start with one. When we click Generate, the result is everything about this network subnet visualized for us, including network mask and maximum number of hosts. 1022 in this case. Then, by simply moving the slider, you can adjust the size of your subnet, and you'll see the corresponding network information change below. After resizing the first subnet to accommodate 254 hosts, I created two additional subnets of the same size by clicking Add a Subnet and resizing appropriately. Next, I added a few smaller subnets, one with 124 hosts, another with 14, and one final subnet with just two hosts. And that again is done by clicking on Add a Subnet, then adjusting the sliders. After you're done modeling your network, you'll have all the necessary information you need to start configuring your network in real life, without having to do any of the hard math involved with calculating network masks or IP ranges. Pretty easy, right? And if you want to make changes or merge subnets together, which can be useful when supernetting, you can remove subnets in the tool by clicking on the Delete button. Then you can work backward by adjusting the size of your subnet, even going right back to where we started from in this example. Let's start over again by clicking the Refresh button, which clears out the information from before. This time, instead of specifying a number of subnets to split a network range into, let's input a minimum number of hosts per subnet and have the tool figure everything out for us. This time around, let's also manually input our starting and ending IP addresses and specify at least 200 hosts per subnet. When we click Generate, the tool automatically splits up and visually represents the resulting subnetworks that fit our needs, along with the necessary CIDR and network mask information. If you click the Reset button, you can start over without deleting your initial criteria. So let's try this again with the same settings, but with a minimum subnet size of 100 hosts. From there, like in our first example, you can customize your network by deleting, resizing, and adding subnets. And for one last example, let's have the tool split the same IP range we've been using into 16 subnets. And that's pretty much it. Using a tool like the SpiceWorks subnet calculator, you can quickly visualize your network and better understand how subnetting works without having to do the complicated math. And if you want to try this visual subnet calculator out yourself, follow the link below in the description. Also, make sure to check out the many free IT tools and applications SpiceWorks has to offer. Thanks!